Okay, so I have done one eye already. I did not add any lashes because I don't know what I want to add yet. Um, excuse my wig. It is not glued down. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm just trying to get this side to look like this side. So let me just focus on one thing at a time. First, I am going to take my um, 35E palette, my random palette that I got from Amazon, but it is very colorful and actually very, very pigmented, and it was only $12, I want to say. It was really cheap. So I'm going to take this orange right here, and that is going to be my transition base, whatever you want to call it. We calling it the first shade I'm gonna put it on. So let me back up this way. Have learned very early. Oh, um, I did not set this concealer. It did dry down since I did my first eye. So I gotta make sure it works. But I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. And um honestly. I didn't want to take it as high as I took it over here, but I actually liked how it looked. And I still have to add an inner corner highlight and everything, but um, you'll probably see the you'll probably see the finished look after I finish this eye and get get that all together. Um. It's looking a lot more red than I want it to, even though it's orange on this side. I, I think it's just too dark of an orange, which is fine. I have a different one for my my other palette that I have. You can see the glitter on there. Um, ooh, I dropped something. But we're going to just take that over it and soften that up anyway. It's going to blend nicely when I actually do put the red on. But I needed just a little bit orange. You can see the little bit of orange and then how it fades into red. It faded in, um, blended in really well. But got to make sure it's orange first. So I'm going to put that over there. I am not needing to pack it so much because it's so pigmented. But I am putting quite a bit on my brush. And I'm lightly going in. So, if um, you're my shade or darker and you feel like you just can't even get, like, nice little golds or whatever to show up, put some concealer down. It's just not so much that it's not pigmented, but sometimes it just, it don't be working. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It just don't work sometimes. So, now I'm going to take the red right next to the orange from my 35GC random palette. Also, same price as the other one. That I got, and I'm gonna take this red right there, and I'm gonna put it right in the crease first. You can pack it. Um, for me, that does nothing, so I'm gonna swirl it quite a bit, and we're just gonna put that in there. And I'm trying to get as close as possible. I know with these two, it's hard to see, but the more I pack it on, the more. <laughs> The more you'll notice that it's going to make a huge, huge difference. I'm sorry, that's super bright. There we go. I'm trying to see in my mirror still. But, and then, like, for me, that's not blended. Like, and it just takes practice and Instagram girls showing you that you have no idea what you're doing. So you just go and practice and practice and blend and blend and blend. and You really just go back and forth with it. And like I said, when I take the orange, I'm still taking it really, really lightly above it. But when you stretch it back, you should have no like real heavy line. And I'm actually going to turn this down some just because it's getting too bright and you can't really see. But I know everyone's like, some people, if you don't do makeup often and you don't really look it up and you don't really like look into it, it probably looks like I'm not doing anything. 
but I am. I'm doing quite a lot. And usually this part, um, when I first started doing makeup, I just be like, oh, it's blended. It's on there. It's fine. And then I'll go back later and look. And when I'm trying to take really close up pictures, I can see like, oh my God, look at that big old line. Like, oh my God. And it would be a mess. I'm going to get my orange, and then this should be good. And like I said, really light. Um, if you're side to side or me, sometimes I do little circles. It, it just depends. It depends on what the color is, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. But that is done. Um, after that, okay, I have yellow on these palettes I do I have really nice yellow um I have darker like orange on the other one but this one I was just using I have yellow and that's the yellow I'm gonna use but here we are I'm gonna use um white just because I wanted to really really make sure it was on there um it really would show up so I first have my um eyeshadow base from NYX and I actually got this offline off of Amazon, but it was six dollars. And then I also have the NYX jumbo pencil um in the shade milk, obviously. And when I first use the eyeshadow base, which is really hard to do and go I just had to wipe it clean, go over red with. If you're going over red with white, good luck, okay? Just good luck. But I'm going to try to flatten this as much as possible and cut my, out my crease. Now, since this is a pencil, I do have a pencil sharpener, which you would think, oh, just outline it. It'll be fine. It, it's, I mean, like I said, it's a pencil. But if you have this, you know, it's not just a pencil. But first, I'm going to show you guys without the brush, without ruining this eye, hopefully. But we're just going to go off here. I don't have to go too far. And it looks really white on camera. But it's actually really, really pink. And this is my... Uh, brush obviously or my pencil but um, it's easy you can just take some tissue and lightly wipe it off like I have a towel right here and unfortunately it's a black towel but it comes off but and then it's white again and you just keep going over it but that's why I just like to use a brush because I just don't like getting the whole thing a different shade it's just what you prefer. Either way, like when I go back to dab it on there after I do it again, it's going to be pink again. But you just go and first when I did this, I tried to do like the cloud. Honey, no, it was not about to happen. It was, it was just not happening whatsoever. And like I said, it comes off pink a little bit but that it would have been cute and it would have been fine for like me on my laptop right now trying to do it and showing y'all on it y'all was like oh it looks nice it looks good it wasn't I, I meant to do it with my under eye over here but we don't like I said we don't get it together but um once I would have tried to take a picture fraud fraudulent it would have popped up like girl what was you doing it would have just been like um no that's not what it's supposed to look like you know but I'm gonna try it again get different brushes I really need like the little small detail brushes even though I can't draw for anything but I learned by doing so I just have to practice oh um this is let me show y'all the yellow this is the yellow all this this one has a lot of fallout but I've been like swirling these brushes in there to get the payoff because I don't want to keep dipping back dipping back dipping back but 
blending yellow to things is actually fairly easy. Easier than I would, would think it to be. Especially when you have colors like yellow, orange, and it was supposed to be orange in there. But like I said, this my camera doesn't do justice. But when I take pictures later and you see it on social media. Oh, by the way, add me on my social media. But um, I'll leave it down there. But yeah. And then I'll take the same orange I used in my transition and pack it. Pack it in here. Take a little more. Click on the other fix the other side a little bit and I told you, it's easy to fix if you've had to, <laughs> if you've had to fix makeup a lot, which I have, you know, so, whoa, what did I do, oh, okay. so I'm going to take, go back on my yellow, and add a little bit more, now, if I wanted to, which I don't know why I didn't, come to think of it, I don't know why I didn't, but usually you can, um, spray it and wet it and do it, which I might do because I don't think I, well, uh, let me fix that. I don't, <laughs> because I added a little more white, so you like, to me, I, I see a difference, but once I'm done, you probably won't, but I know, you know, I know it's wrong. Or it's not the same. It's not wrong. It's just not the same. I mean, when you're talking about eyebrows, like eyeshadow should be sister so much. You're doing that one look when one side's a different color than the other sides. But then you still do the same technique. So it doesn't matter. So now I pack my yellow on there. And we're just going to lightly, light like. I'm barely touching my eye when I'm doing this. And just click out this way because I don't want my yellow that far out. This light. This light. Sorry, I had to turn it down some more. But, but once I put the red on, which I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to take mix I don't know why I keep holding the yellow down. I'm gonna mix this red that I used on my transition with this deeper red. That one? No, that has glitter in it. This one. It's red. It looks really pink on camera and I should have known because it looked that way when I first put it on. But I'm just gonna mix those two and then go right in here. Uh oh. Lightly pack it on there first. And I added the darker red on there because sometimes it comes out a little more pink than the other one. I added that one for you to see it, but it still blend in with, you know, my red that I have on. Otherwise, I feel like I would have had to like add a black or something. Like I said, I go in and I just click it real light because if you go too far, you're going to just get rid of all that orange. But I go in and I want to really take my orange up more, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to do this where you see I messed up a little bit, but don't worry about that. And I can't fix it because it's like white. Like I have to, or maybe if I can go in. No, it's just, it's just going to be there staring at me in my face. But anyways, it's, I'm making it look a little, <laughs> really easy. But some looks, it, it takes a lot, but other times it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like this one, this one is a look I've been trying to do for a really long time. I want to go back with my orange and it's bugging me. Take it up a little bit and flick it both ways so it's not getting... 
exhale. And literally, that's how it's done. Not done, but that's the most of it. Now I have some scotch tape, which I should have did first, which I keep forgetting. But here we are. I did it last on this side too, and it was literally just for my eyeliner. And... like a gap the last time I put this on. Now if you want it to be really sharp and all that, you usually would do both leaves at the same time. But that just ain't how we hitting it today. So sorry I had to adjust. But we're gonna go in. I'm actually gonna do my white first like I did on the other side because if I do my black eyeliner right there I just feel like it's going to get messed up. And once I do the black eyeliner, we're, I'm not going back on anything. On nothing. So, we're going to go in. And I really want to go, like, when I look up, like, right where it creases the most. And that's where I tried to be. And I wanted to go out, though. I didn't want to go curve around. Because it would just, to me, it would have looked dumb. But not like it matters. But. Why? Why do I do this to myself? I went way too high on that side, but let me go. So, if you're bad at things like I am, <laughs> Which, in all honesty, I really expected worse from that side. <laughs> See, I'm at a point, should I just make my line thicker? Or just let it dry and spruce it up after? Which, the second one sounds about right. But I'm so OCD with things. I need it up thick ASAP. Can I hear my wrist popping? Let's get the doctor. Okay. So I'm just going to pretend that this is fixing it. Just let me get my eyes up in there. This one's not dry, and I'm not, I'm not that dumb. I'm not going to mess with that yet. But I do. <laughs> oh. I feel like if I look up too much while it's wet. It's going to get on my yellow look I'm going to cry. <laughs> but it's actually not going to be wet for my little meltdown that I'm having. Okay, so let's do this eyeliner before I cry. I feel like it's wrong already. And I just literally spilled that on my face. There we go. Makes no difference, it's not gonna be the same. Okay.
with my eyeliner y'all i will literally watch someone do this in a video and be like duh it's super easy that way i've done it like that a million times and then once i have to film like i'm really like, oh no why why is that i'm not like nervous doing videos so I really don't know why like I could do this look without thinking about it never doing it before just like now like this is my first time ever I didn't practice this or anything but I can do this in my like bathroom with some music on like I'm not gonna lie to y'all like 30 minutes I look in 30 minutes, not my whole face, but still, you know, but then once it's like, oh, let me sit down and think of something, think of something, think of something, and I do, eh. <laughs> like, like, not as good as I know it could have been, which that irritates me a lot. 90% sure this eyeliner is not the same, but, huh, what, I don't know, magic, okay, <laughs> I have no idea what lashes I'm going to put on, but I thought I got a gift from them, oh I did, okay, so this is a brand that I got from Amazon, that came with all my all my lashes. I had a lot of lashes coming in one day. And um, they have a glam, volume, and sexy ones. And honestly, they all look so good. And I know different lashes, but no, they all look the same. I'm going to take them out. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tripping because it's late, but... These are all the same lashes. I'm, they're not about to play me. I'm not dumb. All the same. Like, if these look longer, they're not. Like, they're all the same. But anyways, we're going to go with the middle ones because why not? We're going to put those on. I'm going to do that off camera because it's taking me a long time. I'm going to see if I can think of some way how to fix fix, fix or just finish my face and I will see you out.